What's going on everyone and welcome back to another high quality foodie feature for you here on the channel. With this time I'm over at BK to put together a little Halloween fun on an item that's only officially available in Canada. That's right, you already know, it's the Franken Whopper, so stay tuned because I'm bringing it to life up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. It's alive! So here it is, the monstrosity known as the Franken Whopper, just in time for Halloween here at BK, and what looks to be a very fun mashup of their flagship burger, aka the Whopper, and a couple of their regular size that you would probably get with one of their combos anyway. But naturally, when you combine both of them on the inside of the Whopper itself, that's where it's going to get the height from. It's looking pretty cool. All right, so as mentioned, what this is is their classic Whopper featuring that sesame seeded bun, and on the inside, we've got ketchup, mayo, lettuce, tomato, onion, and pickle. And you're going to see in the very middle, guys, separated in between the tomato slices is a layer of French fries and onion rings, and that's all on top of a quarter pound of flame grilled beef. And I got to say, guys, it looks pretty cool presentation wise, although I got to admit, I really wish this actually had a green bun to go with. And hey, it's something for Halloween, right? Outside of the ghost pepper nuggets, this is definitely a very cool little mashup here. But again, I really wish this was looking a little bit more the part in terms of the color, but even still, I think what we've got here is gonna be pretty tasty. So there you go, it's the just-in-time for Halloween Franken Whopper, available officially in Canada, but unofficially everywhere else because it's pretty easy to put together here at BK. Let's peep out this flavor. Well, I guess you can say this is the lazy way to eat one of the combos over here at BK because naturally you'd want to take a bite of the burger, a little bit of your sides, and then there you go. But if you want to just go for everything all at one time, now you can. Unofficially, this is available year-round naturally. But like I said, they really needed to have the green bun to match good old Frank with this. I really think that would have been so much better. But like I said, it's late to the game. It's just in time for Halloween. And hey, it's something. And again, the size is pretty cool in this, I have to admit. All right, so let's go in on this. And naturally, with me not being a fan of tomatoes, I really wanted to kind of simulate exactly how this is made in terms of the picture, the way that it looks here. But let's just give it a go. It's the Franken Whopper from BK. Let's do it. Mm. <laughs> Ma'am. Well, that's exactly as I expected it to be. It's the classic Whopper with a lot of French fries and a lot of their onion rings, all the classic flavors of BK together in one bite. And I got pretty much everything in one bite there with the exception of the pickles. They're pretty much coming up next, I think. But as you can see, guys, it adds a lot of girth to it, a lot of height. And obviously it's trying to simulate good old Frank stitched together with various different things. But like I said, guys, it's all the flavors of BK. Definitely a gluttonous burger, but a very lazy way again to have one of the combos here at BK. Let's go for another couple of bites on this. This is just a fun burger. Let's just do it. Well, I guess we got the green for the pickle, so that counts for something. But as you can see again, guys, a lot of the goodness on the inside that you already know, a lot of the fun flavors. And again, having something themed for the Halloween holiday is definitely a bonus. But like I said, a very late to the party throw together for BK for this one. And probably something you guys have probably done unofficially for years. I mean, having two different sides on a burger, I've never done like this. But at the same time, it's nice to have the option. Even if it's unofficially that can be made, it's still pretty cool to have it officially up in Canada for you guys. Very nice. Yeah, this definitely needs the Nightmare King bun from a couple of years ago to really set this one off. It would have been absolutely perfect with this particular one. And honestly, I almost got cheese on this to simulate a little bit of the orange because I'm actually still holding out for an orange bun, maybe hopefully next year for like a pumpkin thing or something like that for color. I think it would have been really cool. But guys, very fun at the same time. And again, something to celebrate the holiday with unofficially for BK. Definitely digging the way the logo looks. And hey, on top of all that, it does have the flame grilled beefy flavor on top of everything else here. So, you know, I kind of wish I got the cheese, but then again, I wanted to simulate exactly how this one looked and separating it between the tomato slices. Naturally, very tasty at the same time, but I think you know what's up at this point, right? All right, so let's go for one more bite of this monstrosity, the Franken Whopper here at BK, unofficially here in Southern California. And then we'll wrap this review up coming up next year. Hang on one second. Well, this thing absolutely gets destroyed the further you get into it here. So depending upon how you put your stuff together, you're going to notice, guys, it is very, very messy. But at the same time, as we go around the world, it is absolutely something fun to try. I only wish it was in a little bit of a better clothing situation as in a green bun. But at the same time, this is very fun to check out. Happy Halloween to all you guys. Pretty nice. All right, so considering that I put this one together, since it's not officially available here in the States, I'm not going to give this one a rating, but would I actually get this one again down the road? Probably not. I got to be honest, guys. This was simply fun to check out because naturally I was curious to see the combination of French fries as well as onion rings on top of a Whopper, how that would actually be. But like I said, the appearance is really what they needed for Halloween with this one. Outside of the whole stitching everything together the way good old Frank is, I like the idea of it at the same time. I think it just needed a little bit of a better rollout marketing-wise to really push it. But even still, very fun to check out. 
All right, so for all you peeps up in Canada right now, do me a quick favor, drop some comments down below. Let me know how you enjoyed the official version of the Franken Whopper up your way. And I'm actually very curious to see what the wrapper looked like if it came in a separate wrapper. I'm very curious to see if they had something Halloween themed. Do me a quick favor and let me know on social media. All my handles are at the very end naturally, and also throughout this review. I'm always a fan of the marketing when it comes to these things, so drop those comments down below and definitely let me know as well. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So I stay tuned for that next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Oh, and hey, and just in case you guys are wondering, yes, I did pick up some ghost pepper nuggets one more time just before the holiday over here for Halloween coming up in a few days. I definitely had to give this one a shot. These things are pretty awesome. Mm. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya. Keep alive.